All right, I think the competition is over. This is by far the most feature-filled Discord rich presence application I have ever used. Look at that. You can have your own time, you can set your own numbers, have your own links, and there's no credits in the actual presence. So to start off, you need to go to the first link in the description and you will see custom RP. You need to click download.exe to download it. I've already done it before, so I'm just going to open it up. So when you open up custom rich presence, click on settings and enable run on startup. And there you go. Now, every time this application opens, it will automatically start. No need for better discord. All this stuff is super safe now. We don't have to worry about it. So next up, you need to click on file and click upload assets. It should open up your web browser with the Discord developer portal. If it doesn't, I'll also have this linked in the description, but it's going to be called Discord developer portal. Now what we need to do is we need to create a new application and we need to set the name of the application. The name of the application is going to be the name of the game. It's going to say playing, then this particular name. In this case, I'm going to set the name to playing YouTube. Then I'm going to click create. Then once you have it opened up, then you need to do a couple things. First off, get this application ID, copy it, then go back to the custom rich presence, paste it into the ID. Then we need to go to rich presence, then click on art assets, then click add images, and we need to add whatever images we want for the rich presence. Keep in mind though, when you do upload something, it needs to be a PNG, a JPEG, or a JPEG with an E. It needs to be at least 512 by 512. If it's not, you will have to resize it using an online resizer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload my logo. Now, with any one of these photo names, you just want to change it to something simple. I'm going to call this Big Photo, and that's it. Then I'm going to click off of it. Then I'm going to add another image, and this one's going to be a verified checkmark PNG, and I'm just going to call it Verify. Then I'm going to click Save Changes, and this is going to upload them to Discord servers. Also, for your convenience, I have included a Google Drive link to this Verify PNG. Now, when you refresh the page, you might notice that your pictures disappear. That's actually a good thing. That means that Discord servers are processing your images, and all you need to do is wait about five minutes, then refresh the page again, and hopefully your images will pop up. All you got to do is just keep refreshing until your images finally show up. All right, so this took uh, however long, I think like 20 minutes or something, but I refreshed the page and I can see my big photo and my verify. So once those images pop up, all you need to do is go back to your custom rich presence. And now you're going to have to kind of look at the little thing on the left. This you can find somewhere, but in all honesty, just look at the video and you'll see. As you can see, we have YouTube, so that's the name of your application. But then we have details, state, and then we have numbers, and then we have a timestamp. So in the custom rich presence app, for details, you can put whatever you want. So I'm going to put my YouTube channel. And that is going to replace details with no text-to-speech. Then for state, I'm going to do something cheesy like subscribers. Then I'm going to enter in the value of subscribers I have. And then I could have like whatever goal. So in this case, I'd said I, I said I'd face reveal at 1 million. That's a joke. Anyways, next up, there's timestamp. There's none. Then since RP started, and this is just going to show how much time has elapsed since you started the application. Then you have your local time. That's what I honestly think is the best. Then you can also have custom timestamp. Now you can set a time in the future or in the past. So you could have your birthday maybe or what time it is. I honestly think your local time is probably the best. I think it's the coolest. So next up for this large image and small image, this is what it's going to be. This is the large image and this is the small image. And in the key part, you need to enter what the image name is. So you need to make sure you're on your Rich Presence art page. And for the big image, I want big photo or the large image, I want big photo. Then for the small image, I want verify, and you need to put that in the key section. Now for the text boxes, you can actually make it so if you hover over the image, it'll say whatever you want. So this is going to be large image text, and this is small image text. I'm going to put for the text on the no text to speech logo, I'm going to say no text to speech. And for the small image text, so if you hover over the little verified symbol, it's going to say fake verify badge Lomao. Then next up we have buttons. Now buttons in my experience are a little buggy, so you need to keep in mind that you need to follow a couple rules. No dashes no weird characters. Your buttons need to be just normal, plain text. So for button number one, I'm just going to put the Discord developer portal. So I'm just going to copy the URL and paste it into URL. Then I'm going to set the text to dev portal. Then for button two, I'm going to do like YouTube channel, and then I'm going to enter in my YouTube channel. And that's how you add buttons. Now keep in mind that your button text just needs to be plain characters, no symbols. So that's no dashes, no periods, no question marks. No nothing, just straight letters and spaces. Now, why am I saying this? If you set it to any weird value, basically it's not going to show up for your friends, but it'll show up for you. So if you just leave it to normal text, then it will show up for you and your friends. 
Also keep in mind that these button text things need to be pretty short. Don't make them super duper long or they won't show up for your friends and they'll show up for you. Once you have that set though, click on the connect button. Now, if you go to Discord, you will notice I am now playing YouTube and it says my about me, which I almost read. Then you could see YouTube, no text to speech, subscribers, and it'll have the value. Oh, I really messed up the value there. That's incorrect. Out of whatever then there's the time, but please keep in mind that you cannot click your own buttons. If I click Dev Portal, it's not going to do anything. So you can't click on your own buttons, but anyone else, so this is an alt account, if they go to your profile, they'll be able to see your activity, you'll see your buttons, and if I click YouTube, it'll say, hey, you want to go to YouTube? You can click yes, and now it'll take me to my YouTube. So keep in mind, buttons don't work for you, but they work for others. Just make sure that the URL is formatted correctly. The best way to make sure it's formatted correctly is just make sure it starts with HTTP and then the www.youtube, whatever. And if you wanna make any changes to your rich presence, as you can tell my rich presence right now, I have uh, the wrong number for my subscribers. So what I'm going to do is remove a three. Then I'm gonna click update presence. Then I'm gonna go back to Discord, click on my name, and now it's updated and works like a charm. Finally, the last feature of this application, which is actually really cool, is the file preset system. You can actually save your own preset as a file name. So I'm gonna call this just the good old standard, ASD, 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 and it will save it. And let's say I disconnect and I change all these settings around and I have it to some other funny thing and uh, it's, it's a huge mess or maybe it's just a completely different status, then what I could do is click load preset, click on the preset, it'll automatically load everything. I need to click connect then it'll be back to having a normal status, just like that. Anyways, that's custom rich presence. If you ever wanna get rid of it, all you need to do is just disconnect, make sure it closes. It will minimize to your taskbar, so you need to go to your taskbar, then right click on it and click quit. Then you can go to your Windows menu and then just uninstall it like normal. Anyways, that is the end of the video. And I honestly think that this Discord rich presence maker is taking the lead right now but keep in mind that one calculator, the developer from the previous Rich Presence video, is working really hard on a super cool feature that I'd love to check out soon. Anyways, I'm going to keep you teased there and maybe let that one calculator know about these cool features. And uh, maybe we can have literally the best Rich Presence application of all time. Not just currently, of all time. Anyways, I'm rambling at this point. I love you. Mwah!